This brings us to lesson two of Learning Unit Three. In this lesson, we will be understanding the key concepts of service design. Each of the concepts is explained as a separate topic in detailed manner in this lesson. So head on to this lesson in the next few slides to get a grasp of key service design concepts. The term IT service management, ITSM, is used in many ways by different management frameworks and organizations seeking governance and increased maturity of their IT organization. The standard elements for most definitions of ITSM include description of the processes required to deliver and support IT services for customers. The purpose primarily being to deliver and support the technology or products needed by the business to meet key organizational objectives. Definitions of roles and responsibilities for people involved, including IT staff, customers, and other stakeholders involved. The management of external suppliers or partners involved in the delivery and support of the technology and products being delivered and supported by IT. The combination of these elements provide the capabilities required for an IT organization to deliver and support quality IT services that meet specific business needs and requirements. There are four perspectives, that is to say, four P's, or attributes, that drive the concept of ITSM. First is partners or suppliers' perspective. This takes into account the importance of partner and external supplier relationships and how they contribute to service delivery. Second is people perspective. This is primarily concerned with the soft side, IT staff, customers, and other stakeholders. For example, does the IT staff have the correct skills and knowledge to perform their roles? Third is products. Or technology perspective. This takes into account IT services, hardware and software, budgets and tools. Fourth and final perspective is process perspective. This relates to the end-to-end -end delivery of service based on process flows. Quality IT service management ensures that all of these four perspectives. Are taken into account as part of the continual service improvement of the IT organization. It is the same when designing new or modified services themselves, in that these four perspectives.